The man who police say caused a deadly high-speed chain reaction crash in Antioch last week faced a judge today. Austin Hullett faces a long list of charges, including vehicular homicide. Our Chris Conti was in court today where, Chris, there was some gripping testimony. And that testimony, Rory, came from one of the crash survivors who somehow managed to make it through all of this. But this hearing today was simply to establish probable cause. This was the first of many court appearances for Austin Hullett. Did anybody die in this crash? Yes, sir. Officer Nathan Dungan has spent hours analyzing evidence and data in the crash that authorities say Hullett caused last Monday. And by evaluating the footage and breaking down uh, frames per second of the video, I was able to assess that uh, minimum speed for the Ford Windstar as it passed traffic in the bicycle lane was 55 miles an hour. After allegedly leaving the scene of another crash, the 30-year-old continued down Bell Road with a woman and his four kids in their minivan. No one was wearing seatbelts as they slammed into one car, then another, then another. And did you see any child restraints or car seats or booster seats or otherwise? No, so there were no child restraints inside the vehicle. Killed instantly was John Kurtz. The 66-year-old was a few miles away from his home. And I noticed that uh, there was a gentleman dead in the road that was just laying there. I went over to try to talk to him, but I, from the looks of him, it, I knew that he didn't make it. Tommy Huff managed to survive. The scene, he recalled, was frantic. The middle of the van that there was a child, you know, like they were in a seat uh, or, or just kind of standing there. And then there was like a lady that was on the back that was thrown over the child. And she was saying, get me out, get me out. Uh, the, the, va the van was on fire at that time. There was a lot of flames and it was really hot. I grabbed the child, pulled the child out, and I, I was shocked that there wasn't in a restraint, you know, a child seat. Tears welled in the eyes of Austin Hullett as the crash was recalled. Was the child in any type of restraint or car seat or anything? No. Okay. No, I was shocked that I was able to reach in through the broken glass window and pull the child out. I thought I was going to have to unbuckle seat belts or something and pull them out. And with that, the judge found there was probable cause to send this case to a grand jury. Immediately following that crash last week, Austin Hullett told authorities that his brakes failed. However, today we heard from a Metro officer who examined his car and said that it appeared that the brakes were working. We are live at the courthouse downtown this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.